Thank you so much for your company this morning. This Sunday sees the 100th anniversary of Armistice Day. At 11am on the 11th of November 1918, hostilities ceased across the many battlefields of the First World War, bringing over four years of fighting to an end. Auckland War Memorial Museum's Joe Brookbanks is with us now, along with Play It Strange Peace winner Salika Isaiah. Welcome to you both. Thank you. Thank you. Lovely to have you in here. Uh, let's start with you first, Jo. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do at Auckland War Memorial Museum. So I'm part of the learning and engagement team at the museum um, and we're in charge of lots of events and public programs. I suppose we give people access to our collections and their stories. So you might see collections in the museum, but we help get those stories out, whether that's in education or theatre or music or dance. We do the whole thing. And as well as that, for the last four years, I've been heavily involved in the centenary program. So a lot of performances around our World War I centenary. Wow. So yeah. for, for those people who aren't fully aware of Armistice Day, well, I, I guess in simple terms really, what is it, or, or rather, how did it relate to, to New Zealand and how does that kind of come through at the museum? Yeah, I suppose mostly in New Zealand we think of Anzac Day and that's our mm. kind of cultural touch point. But of course, um, for Armistice, it's, it's when the fighting stopped. So that in the cross Europe, um, we have Remembrance Day and I think it's, it's the same time as, as Armistice Day. So at that point, on the 11th hour, the 11th month, and the 11th day, um, that Armistice was signed and that's when guns went down and people stopped fighting. Of course, this year, being the 100th anniversary, it's really important for us to mark this occasion. Mm. Yeah, and both in a in kind of a commemorative and reflective way, mm. but also to try to celebrate the mood at the time, which was very celebratory. Yeah, and also, obviously, because it's 100 years now, there are not the people left involved to talk about it, so we've got to keep the stories going on. So the Auckland War Memorial Museum commemorates the anniversary with a day of events. So tell me how the day unfolds. Yeah, so I suppose what we wanted to do as well is we are aware that those connections are lost. We want to help people access their connections because people do have connections to people who died in the war, yeah. um, great-grandparents, great-great-uncles, etc. But we're also really keen to look at the world today as well. So to make it more relevant for new, different New Zealanders to be engaged in um, the centenary, we're looking at um, more youth programs as well. So the day starts with this service at 11 o'clock out on the Court of Honour. And then from 12 o'clock until 8 o'clock, we've got performances running all day long through the museum. We've got something for everyone. So we've got your big bands doing your, you know, your good old marches and mm. your, and your um, regular um, wartime favourites, but we've also got really special performances from like the ukulele groups of New Zealand. So we've got the Kiwi Lalies performing for us. So we're capturing that excitement of the time, as well as commemorating with likes of mm. Auckland Youth Choir and the Auckland Girls Choir, who are just beautiful voices in that very evocative mm. space. And that's where you come in, Silica, because music is such a big part of the day. So what's your involvement? Um, so for the day I will be singing an original song and they've asked to for two original songs and so yes I'll be singing one original song which is already known and which is Mad Men and one which is new it's a new song. So tell us a little bit about Play It Strange. So Play It, Play it Strange is a charitable fund or trust and um, they provide a platform for aspiring young and talented songwriters that um, yeah they provide them with the platform to express their songs and their original pieces and the thing about Play Strange is that they don't really expect much in return and they do it they do it mostly out of love so for that it's just I appreciate like I think many would say appreciate Play Strange for what they do and, mm. and what they offer the young the young people like us. And so you mentioned that one of those songs you'll be performing actually won uh, the competition with Play yes. It Strange. So tell us more about that and the song. Um, so the competition I entered is one out of the many, um, which is called Peace Song Competition. And this competition, um, you had to compose a song that promoted peace, whether it be peace in between countries or peace within family or peace just between, just peace in general. Um, so yes, I wrote a song called Mad Men and this song was inspired, I was inspired to write this song because I watched the news and I saw Trump separating, forcefully separating children from their parents mm -hmm. and because of this it kind of it struck me in a way and I, I thought why don't, why don't I give these people a voice, these children a voice, mm -hmm. they deserve one and so yes from that, from that little experience I just decided to write a song And that's the one you're going to sing for us at the end mm. of the show, yes. isn't it? Uh, so you're 17 now, aren't you? Yes, I at am. At Papa Toi Toi High. What, what are your ambitions for the future? My ambitions is to travel the world singing and like to spread 
to spread music that has meaning and that can relate to every single person. Mm. You know, sometimes we sing music about, you know, being like rap music or bees, and it's totally fine. But for me, I would like a, I would like to spread meaning and like something that can relate to everyone in general to tell them that it's normal for them to go through the situation mm. and that we can share the same problems. It's they're not alone. And we can find you on Facebook if we if we want to check you out. How can we? You know, what's your um Facebook page name? Uh, so the Facebook page name is Silica.nz, and for Instagram, it's at Silica Isaya. Oh yeah. wow. Well, Fantastic. I'm really looking forward to hearing you. Now, Joe, tell us a little bit about Illuminate. It's a looped film production, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. It's on the northern facade of the museum. On the 9th, the 10th and the 11th, we'll have this beautiful show. Um, we have images from our collection with quotes from our collection that have been transformed in this wonderful... Um, some beautiful images behind you there. It's been done before, hasn't it? Well, it's been, the, the Illuminates has been done before in terms of um, images on and, and film on the wall, but this is the first time we've actually mapped some content. So you can see there are poppies coming out of windows, and that's the oh, highlight wow. of the show. And it's we've got a beautiful new score composed especially for the occasion, and it's going to be very, very moving. It's a time when it's not so crowded. You can go up mm -hmm. in the dark and really have some time to I've seen to one of the previous that. installations and it's so incredible. Yeah, great. Like the side of the <laughs> museum, it's just so spectacular. Oh, we're looking forward to all of that and really looking forward to hearing you sing at the end of the show, Salika. Thank you both so much for joining us. Now, Armistice Day is this Sunday. Make sure you check out the Auckland War Memorial Museum website as well as www.100.govt.nz for further details of the Armistice Centenary commemorations. And there will be commemorations taking place all around the country.